Patrick Swayze, please, come here. made the drawing asked you if you could if you could sign your autograph for him is it possible? what's your name well eh? leandro leandro for to spell l e a n d r o leandro that looks a little bit more like kurt russell i think <laughs> Olha só, ficou tão bonitinho que o Joe Soares mandou um peixe pra mim. Obrigado. E posso estar do Leandro? Tem uma garota chorando ali. Vai, vai ter letreirinho aqui embaixo, rolando. Letreirinho, mas de vez em quando eu falo em português também. Né? Tudo bem, não tem problema. Não vou ficar todos em casa quando eu falar em português. O que que é agora? Eu não entendo. Ah, tem uma garota ali chorando que nem uma louca. Olha lá. What have you done to this girl? I swear I didn't touch Come her. Come on, no. don't fly. I didn't touch her. Now the call the police. <laughs> She's underage. <laughs> I'm hiding in the Amazon soon. Tell me something, Pat. It's your first time in Brazil. Yes, sir. Uh, no, don't call me sir, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't do that. What do you want me to call you, Captain Gay? Uh, Joe, Captain, Captain Gay. <laughs> If you call me Captain Gay, I'll call you Carlos Sueli. Do you know who's Carlos Sueli? <laughs> he was a partner of Captain Gay. <laughs> Tell me something. Uh, how long are you staying, Patrick? Uh, have to head to Rio tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a lot of press there, because I've got two Wong Fu coming out and three wishes. So I'm just like moving all over the world. But, but my wife and I have been really excited about getting to Brazil. Because Where's your wife? Is she, your wife sitting here? No? no, she's on her computer writing our dance movie as we speak in the hotel room. I see. And uh, how did you find Brazil? Because some, some, uh, sometimes I have, uh, I have uh, persons here come for the first time and they get a little uh, amazed by the, by the cities and by the country. Do you I, feel the, 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 did you expect something else? No. Um, I, th I think the people have a really lovely energy and I've had, you know, I've had a wonderful time so far and uh, I wish we were going to be here longer. But uh, my, Lisa and I fly our own aircraft, so we're going to fly back down here where we can spend time and, and jump from one place to another. But uh, uh, people down here know how to party, know how to yeah, dance. They, they know. Yeah, they know. know how to do a little rumba and the samba and merengue and... Uh, and all that. Yeah. And you're a great dancer. Well, I, I, yeah. I, 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 Fred Astaire is a great dancer. I just yeah. work at it. Yeah, well, Fred is there. <laughs> Fred is there. Do, 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 do you know any other dancer that could be compared to, to Fred is there? Not even Gene Kelly. Uh, I wouldn't. It's so I, original. I so think I think both of them are so unique under themselves. I, yeah. I wouldn't want to try to compare. Just like uh, I wouldn't want to compare me to anyone else or, or Brizhnikov to anyone sure, else because sure. that's what makes people special. You know, is, yeah. is everyone's unique. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, you you uh, you played. Uh, very different roles and uh, you played a bouncer, surfer, doctor, a dancer. Uh, what makes you choose a role from a script? Uh, for me, my heart. Yeah. Um, I, I choose roles by instinct. Um, I feel very lucky that I lived through the Hollywood hit machine mentality, you know, mm -hmm. where you make decisions only according to how much money something's going to make at the box office. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I need to do roles and characters that are going to further me as an actor and are going to open my heart up in some way. You know, it's like that's the reason I did a movie like Dirty Dancing, like Ghost, like uh, like uh, uh, like Tu Wong Fu. You know, because it's it's not a movie about drag queens. It's a movie about human beings and people and and the dignity that we all all possess. And everyone deserves a chance at happiness, no matter who we are. And when you started as an actor, because of being a dancer, did people think that you were gay because of the in, enormous prejudice that? Well, my point of view is. 
Let them call me gay. <laughs> and see what happens. No problem. And see what happens. And you, you study martial arts too? All my life. Uh, yeah. but, but as a non-violent art form. Uh, basically it is a way for me to connect. Philosophy. Yeah, and a, and a way to live your life. Well, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, some scenes from a lot of your movies. I'm going to show each one of them. And let's start with uh, one of the first ones, uh, Matador de Aluguel, which was called here. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's Point Break, I think. I yeah. think it's Point Break. Yeah. Okay, vamos solta um pedacinho, vilem aí do Point Break. Damn, boy! I thought you were good! No, this is Roadhouse. Oh, fuck no, no. Which one is yeah. this in English? Roadhouse. This was a full contact, a full contact fight, a, a, a full contact fight, not the, the, not to the face. Yeah, full contact, full contact, but not to the face. And uh, Marshall, Marshall Teague, he's a, he not only is, is he a wonderful actor, but he's, he's become a very good friend. Uh, but he was the first actor I'd ever fought that knew how to fight. You know, because he was in Vietnam, Special Forces, uh, uh, he was a Navy SEAL. Then he came out and, he, and he's fourth degree black belt in, uh, in uh, three different styles. And uh, then he was a cop, and then he was a member of the SWAT team. So, what a life. But it was, so it was great. It was really wonderful to have someone whose eyes you could trust. So we beat the tar out of each other. Our forearms and rib cages were black and blue, but we never hurt each other once. No, just except one time he uh, he picked up this log and breaks it across my back. He thought it was a prop log, but it was a real it was log. A real one. <laughs> yeah, so that was the only time. And how long to to, to shoot a scene like this? That fight was it straight? Uh, no. That fight sequence took uh, four 16-hour days. It's a it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but I never take money uh, or uh, or food out of a stuntman's family's. Uh, sure, mouth, of, course, of course. I, ma I make sure that a stunt double gets to do the first master, mm -hmm. and then I come in and do my own master and do everything else. That way he gets paid. Yeah, but, 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 he, when, but he sits around a lot and doesn't work much. M much better for him. Yeah. And tell me something. When do you start getting tired when you do a scene like this? For how long can you, can you keep the scene going on without... <sighs> I, I need to do it from beginning to end every time. Oh yeah. Otherwise, you don't get the flow, and you're not mm -hmm. the, you're not in the same level of uh, intensity as you would. That's, sure. the, that's the reason I, I choose to do uh, most all of my own stunts is because I think it loses loses a, a lot of power in a performance when they have to pull away to the back of a stuntman's head. Sure. You know? Sure. And, I, and I've trained in these things all my life. I've raced cars and motorcycles and and uh, ha and had scholarships to college in football, track, swimming, and diving, and gymnastics, and scholarships with every major ballet company in New York. And so, and uh, so I'm, you know, I, the I whole don't, thing. I don't do stupid things because I know what I'm doing. You but, know, you know, you know what you're doing, and you know your body. Yeah, but I, I am getting a little tired of uh, of hiding injuries on a movie because you can't let them know you hurt yourself. Otherwise, you won't get to keep doing these stunts. So, uh, like, uh, on, like when I did Point Break, this surf, surfing movie, I, yeah, I had to, just, I had to do that movie with a broken arm, and uh, I broke my right elbow and my and uh, tore the rotator cuff on my right shoulder. And but I was doing movie after movie back to back, so I just had to keep popping Advil. And pain pills to keep keep going because I wasn't able to have uh, operations done on on the elbow or shoulder and, for, and for the three shoulder. Years. The shoulder. Of, uh, what did you do with the shoulder? You really. You re re it's a very un very unromantic way. You know, here I just surfing these big the biggest waves in the world and jumping out of airplanes. Well, I decided outside my trailer one day on the beach that if I got a skateboard. It wouldn't help me in, help me become a better surfer. So I, you know, I used to ride skateboards in in my teens, you know. So I got on the skateboard, and about two and a half seconds after being on the skateboard, it shot out from under me, and I came down and just crushed that elbow and drove the shoulder up. And um, did you did you learn to jump with a parachute? No, you, you didn't. It's a good idea to do it with a parachute rather than without. No, no, I mean, yeah, sure, sure. It's much better. It's much better because you can even do it again. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, did you did you really jump with the parachute or was no, I, that a stunt? No, 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 no. I did all my skydiving. And if you look in the movie, when when I say adios amigo and fall fall backwards out of that plane, there's no cut. There's no computer there. No, there, there, there's no cut. You see me falling out. But my brother's a skydiver, and I was and I was gonna start skydiving anyway. Uh, so I thought, great, do a movie where I get paid to learn to be a professional skydiver. Well, let's see. Let's see. Uh...